Evans here at Lift Hills and Thrills and tonight we are in Blackpool for our Journey to Hell experience. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get invited to the press night. Why? We've got more than 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> I've got to say that. Uh, tonight we've paid £39 for a ticket for Journey to Hell. Already that is a crazy, crazy extortionate amount um, for what looks to be a very basic experience with a few rides. Alright, so this is also different as you've got tickets that admit you to each zone, which basically you head up to through the map, go to each section, cash in your ticket, go through and come out so you can have a bit of a free wander around Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So it's not really a journey to hell anymore, is it? It's more of a wander or casual stroll around hell. Casual stroll. A around casual hell. stroll around hell. Fire. Right, as everyone's queuing up for the clown maze, we thought we'd go and uh, check out the ghost train, which apparently has actors in it, which we suggested last year would be a great addition to this particular maze because it had the Dia de los Muertos theming and we thought hmm actors would be really cool in here and lo and behold this year they've got actors so I'm really looking forward to it. Seen two actors so far. Thrilling. Yeah, it, it works much better with actors. There's what six actors in there. Yeah, about that. Yeah. Three of them didn't really do much of anything. One was camouflaged, and one actually had a, a little good little jumpy moment. Yeah, one got. Me. Not too bad. Yeah, so they've improved it. So that's a plus point. Yes, I'm saying something positive about Blackpool Pleasure Beach Journey to Hell. I yeah, know. Grab your pacemakers, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to get in for a bumpy ride. Alright, the Cursed River Caves, and this time around, you get given a lantern. That's such a cool idea. It's River Caves in the dark. We can see you. We can see you. Oh, that was so poor. Yes, the lanterns work, but there's no fog, there's no atmosphere, there's nobody in the boat with you making it awkward. Just very poor. That was so bad. I'm hearing some cool things about hell tunnels this year though, so that's where we'll be going in right now. You have to go into the hub section to get into the maze. But uh, yeah, there's no big finale. The ghost train didn't have a big finale. River Caves didn't have, well, anything, <laughs> Not let alone a, a big finale. <laughs> strange I don't usually show up on film. Got a trailer there for the Circus of Horrors. Currently at Tully's and currently at the Howl and we'll be coming to Blackpool Pleasure Beach straight afterwards. Highly recommend it. Such a great show. And such a great bunch of people working for them too. Alright, Jacus. Come, come here my friend. Come here. No. You didn't get chased. No. You didn't get chased with a bunny with a dildo. So. No, I missed that. What did you think of Hell Tunnels underneath the Pleasure Beach? Bad, wasn't it? Yeah. It's the same as last year. At least you got the highlight of the dildo, I didn't. I didn't. I just... <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't great, it's the same as before. The butcher's thing was cool, like that, that little room's well themed, it looks cool. But it just doesn't hit home, it's just, if you want to see under the pleasure beach, go on hell tunnels. It's not scary, but it is what it is. Mazes aren't spooky if you're being asked to stand up against the wall while you're being told a story. There's no jumps there, there's nothing. It's, it's, it's just really poor. Cool. you give it out of 10 so far? Um... Three and a half. Three? That's <laughs> generous. Right, up next, our next maze is Freak House, which is a clown themed maze based in the old impossible building. No maze! I thought Passage worked on that one. There was there was literally cotton wool in a corridor with some spiders, a few clowns that like cornered you and like spoke to you for a bit. Yeah, the masks were cool, but it wasn't a scare maze. You were just standing around listening to them talk to you. If I wanted to do that, I'd stay at home and watch Dally. <laughs> what was what was that? That wasn't a maze. Oh, at this point, it was so bad. It was bad. It was funny, but not. Did you get? Did you get wet? Yeah, what did you think about? Shocking! Absolutely shocking! It was just funny. That's scary. And the theming was horrific. More scary walking around Blackpool at night time than it is right here in this theme park. Right now. The big one is closed this evening, so we can't go on that, which is terrible. It really is. It's like there's been no replacement. 
No, nothing. Ooh, spooky. Sp spooky, spooky. Right, so we're uh, infusion in the dark. And as far as sirens theming goes, we, that, we've pretty much seen it already. I thought that ride was going to be blindfolded, but it wasn't. It was just infusion in the dark. So far, I'm failing to see where 39 quid's getting us. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, I, I just can't see it. What were you expecting? More atmosphere in the park. We've, just about the park. There's a little bit by the hub. Oh, the werewolf, the clowns, that bit's Roman actually. Actors are yeah, much. Roman actors down there are great, but it's not carried along like throughout the park. As soon as you've gone through that stage by the hub, after that, there's nothing. It's just empty space, and those three people hanging around <laughs> in there, just staring at you as you walk past us. And there's no theming. It's just, it's the just, sirens. it's just a light. It's the sirens from fusion. Yeah. <laughs> So just to prove a point, we had a gentleman just come up to us and offer us two tickets because he's been given two tickets from somebody else who didn't want to do any more mazes. So he's trying to pawn them off on anybody who walks <laughs> past and everyone is saying no. That should say all you need to know about Journey Town. Nobody even wants free re-entry. It is nice. It's really, that's actually really nice just walking around. That's what I said last year when I came down. I think that was the highlight of my trip. Just walking around this dark, abandoned, almost theme park. It's cool. We're getting ready to go inside Door of the Explorer Scare Maze and Spongebob. That would actually be genuinely terrifying. This one is called The Lost and it'll be the first time that I've ever stepped foot inside the, the old Space Invader building. So I'm actually more excited about that than what's inside. Don't even give it a review. I think I think if you give me a day in B and Q, I could put something up that was a little bit better than that. Once again, you're standing by a wall and looking at stuff, but it's a lot of black. So it was just it was just black. It was just fencing, wasn't it? It was like fencing with black sheets over it that you walk through. It reminded very much of the For the Love of Horror maze um, that they had at the Bowlers Exhibition Centre last year, or well, the year before, sorry. And they did it as like a one-off. And you know how long it took them to do? Two days. And it looked exactly the same as that. So if they spent any longer than two days on that, then you spent two days too many. These aren't scare mazes. <laughs> no, they're not mazes. These are no. stand with your back against the wall and listen to an actor do some they're spiel. It's like a more theatrical kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's theatrical. Watching there's no, an actor. There's no scares there. No. And the theming was so poor. You know what? So I apologise, Alton Towers, for giving you a bad review this year. I apologise Alton Towers profusely because it cannot possibly... Oh, I'm not saying anymore. I'm not saying. I just can't believe that people have actually said that this is a good event. Yeah, I, I can't. There's, the ghost train is the only thing that's standing out for me at the moment because the actors in there actually go well with the thing. Not as good as Monster House and Energylandia, but the, the ghost train is the only thing that's standing out for me. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's me being nice. So we were going to the express station and literally one of the staff members said, don't go on it, use your ticket for something else because this is just a train ride in the dark. A staff member said that. Just, 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 in so many words. Just, so I'm, not make, just so I'm not making it up. A staff member no, said 100%. that. No, 100%. He said, yeah. Yeah. He, he said, Thank you for coming and thank you for spending 39 yeah, quid on this. He's literally trolling us. He's literally winding us up that we pay yeah. £39. They know it's not good. And that's why, right this second, we're going to the Passage del Terra uh, for a proper experience. Now, Passage have worked on bits within this experience, but I imagine it was on a very short time scale because um, the quality in Passage has not been transferred over into this attraction whatsoever. I can only imagine it was a short time scale, but Passage del Terra need to take full control of this operation because Blackpool Pleasure Beach cannot do this on their own. And that's why I imagine that they asked Passage in the first place, but give them months to work on it and deliver something truly special and truly deserving of an incredible park like Blackpool Pleasure Beach. In the evening, we're doing an actual horror attraction. Who would have thought it? <laughs> Now it's time to get excited. We come out into the horror bar and uh, that's our experience done. No, I didn't jump unfortunately, but I've been through it enough times. Um, I knew kind of what was coming, but you can just walk through and appreciate the theming. And how was your evening, sir? What would you rate Journey to Hell out of 10? 
Can I go into the minus? If you really want to. Yeah, minus 10. What would you rate Jenny to hell out of 10? Minus 20. Minus 20? Uh, Damn. Yeah. And what would you rate Jenny to hell out of 20? Uh, 20. 20 out of 20? <laughs> zero. Big fat zero. I'm going to give it a one just so they invite me down to the next media press event. <laughs> love you. Pleasure <laughs> Beach always said you're amazing. I love you. Love you. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, and as always, let's get spooky!